What's up people, my name is Action Jackson and I'm designing this specific audio for everybody who is facing any challenges within their studies. It's called The Face of Success. My name is Action Jackson and in my job I simply focus on training and developing leadership and excellence in people. My focus is to help you be the best that you can be. In the face of success, this is simply what I bring forth. The F in face stands for focus. The A stands for attitude. The C stands for confidence. And the E, excellence. Whether you're doing your A1, your A2, whether you're at degree level, whatever the case may be, you need to show your face. Most people panic, but this is where we begin to get down to business and cut out panic. Most people get hooked on Facebook, MySpace, YouTube, and all those social networks. Those things are great. But at the end of the day, the first question I want to ask you is this. What is your focus? The F in face. What is your focus? What are you supposed to be focusing on? The reason why you decide to get hooked on Facebook, MySpace, and or any other distraction is because you have allowed your focus to be derailed. If it's time to play, please play. If it's time to work, please work. But what you've now done, because you look at work and the enormity of that work and the mental focus that says, oh, I'm probably not going to do it, that mental focus then causes you to want to reach for something that's easy. Champions cannot afford to break focus. The F in face stands for focus. You need to focus. You need to hone in your thoughts, hone in your energy towards being productive. It's not that you don't know what to do. Well, for some of you, you don't know what to do, but majority of people do know what to do, but they just can't be bothered. They can't be bothered to put in the energy, to put in the focus, to put in the passion. Why? They've either told themselves, I'm not that good. I'm probably not going to do very well. It's probably going to be a, a, a flop. Please don't say that to yourself. Have the right focus. And there are practical ways of getting focus. Get a piece of paper and write down the things you need to do to have fun on that day and the things you need to do to work on that day. Once you have those lists, the fun list and the work list, you just honor those lists. For me, I might say, you know what? For fun today, I want to go on Facebook for about an hour. I'm going to watch a DVD. I want to do this. I want to do that. You've got a list of things you want to do. I'm not trying to say have a rigid life. But I want you to actually honor the things that are important, such as I've got coursework, I've got an assignment, I've got a project, I've got something I need to hand in. It's very important that we grow up and grow out of this silly lifestyle and silly focus that says, oh, I can't do it, so I won't do it. It's time for us to grow up. The A stands for attitude. What kind of attitude do you have towards your work? Do you consistently say to yourself, well, I really can't be bothered. There's no point. You keep questioning things. you always moaning and complaining. Moaning com and complaining is a bad attitude. Attitude determines your altitude. Attitude determines your altitude, how high you go. If you have the right attitude, trust me, you're going to go very far. Some people don't moan. They just get on with it. Are you the kind of person that just gets on with it? And if that's you, please continue. Or are you the kind of person that always moans about the work? No matter what's going on. Why are you moaning? Yeah, it's raining. Why are you moaning? It's this, it's that. I've got a headache. I've got this. All is making excuses. You need to cut that down. Most people who become successful in life, they have the attitude of a winner. The attitude that says, no matter what, I'm going to make it. I'm going to push for it. So whether you're in year 12 or year 13, please, 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 please begin to learn to develop the attitude of a winner because attitude will determine your altitude. It's a decision you make in your mind. First of all, ask yourself this question. Why am I actually in year 12 or 13? Why am I doing this? When you ask yourself that particular question, then you start getting answers because I want to go on and be successful. I want to develop a career. When you ask yourself those simple questions, the answers start coming to you and then you can make your decision. No one said it's going to be easy. Please, if it was easy, everybody would be doing it. If college and sixth form was easy, everybody will be in college in sixth form. The reason why we've put you in this position is because we know you've got something and we want you to birth the greatness within you. But you're only going to birth the greatness if you develop the right attitude. The C in face stands for confidence. Confidence 
is a sense of certainty you have about yourself about a particular thing. If I said to you, get up now and walk across the room, you can confidently do that. Why? Because you know you can. But there are things that you're not too sure about. You might look at a piece of coursework or assignment, and in your head you're like, there is no way I'm going to be able to do this. Well, you don't know yet. You haven't tried. And even if you tried and you failed, that doesn't mean that you can't do it. A young baby, I want you to imagine, was not able to walk when they were born. But over time, they began to develop the ability to walk. The first time they stood up, they fell down. Second time, they fell down. Third time, they fell down. They kept trying. The baby didn't sit down and say, you know what, mom? This walking thing is proving to be too difficult. I'm going to sit down. No, they kept on pushing. And that's exactly the same thing I need you to do. Whether it be assignments, projects, a particular topic you don't understand. I'm sure there is someone around you who knows more than you. Develop your confidence by getting someone to teach you. Asking question doesn't mean you're weak. Asking question means you want to be strong. You want to get better. If you don't understand something, write it down. Ask someone who is better than you. There's no point in you running away thinking, oh, well, I don't know it. I'm not going to ask questions because I'm going to look weak. And in the end, who fails? Who loses out? You do. So please, whatever you do, be confident about yourself. Even if you get things wrong, get it wrong confidently. The most important thing I say to people is this. No matter what you do, make sure that you never ever put yourself down. Don't ever doubt yourself. Do you know how powerful the human mind is? Do you know the capability you possess is far greater than any machine on this planet? Everything on this planet was created by a human being. And a human being has a brain. Most people have, everybody has the same brain, but very few of us exercise our brain at the level in which we're supposed to exercise that brain. Have confidence in yourself. Start by trying new things. Start by pushing yourself, challenging yourself. Music is a very powerful tool. Do you ever wonder how you know the lyrics to certain songs? I'm going to test it. Washing machines live longer with what? Cow gun, you see? You were able to remember that. Ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah. Ting, tang, walla, walla. Bing, bang? Exactly. How were you able to learn that? Your brain learns automatically. You're an automatic learner, but you tend to stand in the way of your progress because you think you're not that confident. Well, of course, if, you're not, if you haven't done something before, of course you're not going to be that confident. And the only way you're going to build confidence is to ask someone to teach you And don't ever feel like an idiot when you ask someone for help. It means you want to get stronger. So we've gone through the F, which means to focus. We've gone through the A, which is to develop the right attitude. And we've gone through to the C, which is to have confidence no matter what. The final one is E. Whatever you do, do it with an attitude of excellence. Don't do things mediocre. When you do things with a level of excellence, what happens is this. You start seeing yourself higher than you are. You start looking in the mirror and feeling good about yourself when you step back to look at that piece of work, knowing fully well you didn't do it in the last minute. Excellence is not birth in the last minute. Excellence is birth over time. If you get a piece of work, don't leave it to the last minute, or else you're going to have to rush. If you rush it, it's going to be mediocre. But what you begin to do is you start early. Start early so you can put your best in so that the work can come out at the level of excellence. You think about the clothes you buy and the products you buy and all the things you use. They've all been designed with excellence in mind. That's why you part with your money. Or else if it was poor, you're not going to part with your money. Whatever you do, please, always think in your mind, I want to do this as best as I can. Give it your best shot. Aim for the highest level and see what begins to happen. So this is me, Action Jackson, just rounding off this little segment called The Face of Success. F is focus. Please, from now on, decide what's going to be your focus from now on. The A, what attitude are you going to adopt? C, how are you going to build your confidence? And E, are you going to do things with a level of excellence? Your little assignment that I'm going to give you now is to go away and write these things down. The F, the A, the C, and the E. And to ask yourself how you're going to exhibit these four characteristics over the next week. I want to hear from you. Remember this phrase, if you want to be an eagle, you need to hang around with eagles. If you're going to be a chicken, you will have to hang around with chickens. But it's going to be detrimental. Why? Because chickens fry, eagles fly. Chickens fry, eagles...